Now this video is going to be how to install a screen protector on your S22 Ultra. So let's dive right in. So before we start, let's take a look at what this screen protector has to offer. As you can see here, this says the screen protector for Galaxy S22 Ultra. This came from Samsung. So on Samsung's website, it is £10, but I got a discount and got it for £6 or so. The reviews are not that great. The reviews were like three stars, but compared to other reviews on other platforms out there, I decided to go for Samsung's one because, you know, it came from Samsung. They should know their devices a lot better than other people. So let's take a look at what this has to offer. Right here it says screen protector two pieces. You know why there are two pieces? So if you mess one up, you've got one to spare. You've got a dust removal sticker there, two pieces. You've got one microfiber cleaner, one squeegee, one applicator and one install guide. And if you wanted to watch the video on how to install it, you can be able to do that now. Let's open this up. Alright, so this is it. I don't think there's anything else in this box, okay. Let's see what is next here. What is this? This probably looks like the applicator. Okay. Okay. So that's empty as well. So I think this might be the squeegee. Just push the air bubbles out. Let's put this on the side right now. So I can have an understanding on what I'm meant to be doing. Uh, dust remover, thank you. So dust remover stays right there. This is the manual which they talked about. And this would be the screen protector. Okay. All right, let's leave that in there for now. All right, like they said, so we've got the screen protector, you've got the dust remover there, you've got a microfiber cleaner, you've got a squeegee, you've got an applicator, and you've got a manual. It's a pretty huge manual and what he wants us to do is this here needs us to peel it off okay and i have my fingernails so. okay there you go so once that's done the next step would be to take your phone and place it right in there once that is in place i believe now would be the time to wipe it off so it's easier, which makes sense, makes it easier for you to wipe it off because you've not got any finger holding up the device. Okay, I'm going to use the dust remover right here. Okay, all right. So with that, it remains one more. I'm going to remove the dust as much as we can. Put it this way for now. And what's next? Take now. Leave that alone. I'm going to pull one of these out. We only need one. All right. And this here says is the removal part number two. Removal part number one. I see. See, even if the instruction doesn't help, this definitely helps because it tells you how it needs to stay. So the next thing to do would be to pull this out, but the way you pull this out, you pull it out from the, from underneath, okay? And you pull it out this way, okay? As you can see, I've removed that, and then drop it down slowly, right? And this is where the squeegee comes into play, because now you can squeegee it, and there we go. Oh yes, that's better, that's better. So firstly, get this glued in, no bubbles here. Then this bit right here, you need to bend it out this way. So this way you can then squeegee it down fully and push it out. And push it out slowly. There you go. Okay. And then pull this up this way and bend it outwards and then squeegee it out. So once you remove the second part of it, you 
and then try to get this other part smooth out. Okay. Let's see if this section will work. There we go. So we're gonna recap this in a way for you to understand. Firstly, when you get this, you need to peel off this area here. And then you put it down and put your phone right in there, okay? Once that's done, you can clean your device using this, okay? To remove fingerprints, okay? And once that's done, use this. As you can see, this here has two sections that says remove part one and remove part two. The next thing you need to do is put it right here and there you go. And then you hold this up and pull this out from underneath and pull it out this way, which allows here to become um, transparent and you can stick that to the screen there. And then you can squeeze it in to remove any bubbles. That's the first bit. And the second bit will be to bend it in a way to allow this blue part of it come out this way. So while it's coming out, you can see what I do. You push it out, you push it out and it sticks here. And you do the same thing for this method and you push it, push it for it to stick. And once that, that is done, don't let it confuse you. You just have to, you know, try and squidge it to make sure the air bubbles are all gone out. And after that's done, the second part, you pull it out. Once you pull it out, the screen protector will remain on your device. And that was what threw me off because when I kept squidging, I noticed there were still air bubbles and air bubbles. But then when I pulled this bit out, I realized it was a lot smoother than I thought. While this, I will update you guys in the comments section to see how well it is faring if those tiny bubbles will go out in a few hours. There's a tiny bubble here, not sure you can see, and here when I was squeezing it hard, uh, but that's about it. The edges which I was worried about, uh, for now, are smooth. Put this in the case right now because, you know, it needs to go with the case, so hopefully it stays well in there and I don't have any issues with it. Oh yeah, not bad. So, since I have one more protector left, I might as well keep all these things here. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference, would you? 